Good morning, everyone. So it is Tuesday morning, um, almost 1030. Um, so I didn't vlog yesterday because um, we spent the we spent Sunday into Monday. Um, so we left here Sunday morning and we went to New York City for the night, for the day and then the night. And then we left yesterday morning. Ooh, so I didn't get home until yesterday at like almost at like three. It was actually three o'clock when we got back home. Um, so I thought it was like too late for me to start the vlog and everything for yesterday. Um, but yeah, so yesterday we went, we were on the way home. I actually stopped at at home stores, which is like a, um, they said it's like a warehouse store. So whatever they have there is what they have. Cause, um, they barely had any ha Halloween stuff, you guys, but I got to go to the, I got to go to the. The one that I went to where I got my Christmas tree and my skeleton because they seem to always have more. I went to a different one yesterday because it was on our way home. Um, September 1st. So I'm using my Freddy cup today. September 1st and my birthday month. So. But I'm over here watching the... um. I love this lady. She's hilarious. She always like makes me laugh. But the wads... She's hilarious. All of a sudden, my nose is running. I don't know why. But today's supposed to be like voting for like the senators or whoever the heck it is. So my mom's gonna. My mom told me that she'll let me know by eleven if she's gonna go vote. Um, voting for those type of people is important, but not as important as voting for the big guy. So if I don't get to get there today to vote, it's not like a big big problem. Um, but yeah, so drinking my coffee, I had pumpkin spice yogurt with a little bit of granola for breakfast this morning. Um, I did so you guys know how I weigh myself, I do like a weigh in every day, like I weigh myself every day, guys. Like, I even brought my scale to the hotel with me every day, I weigh myself. Um, and then each month, I subtract the beginning of like August to the beginning of um. September or because I have this app on my phone and you log in your weight each day and then it tells you like overall lost overall gain overall um everything like it tells you everything so from the beginning of August 1st to the end yesterday it says I gained half a pound which a gain is a gain which I hate gaining oh my god you guys but I so I gained half a pound in August my goal for this month is to lose at least four pounds. Um, that's my goal for this month. This month is like when fall comes and when all the goodies come and it's oh, uh, like the holidays are coming. This is this is the month where the holidays start because you got fall, then you got October, which is Halloween, then you get Thanksgiving, then you get Christmas. So this is where people start to go down with their weight loss, but. Because last, last Thanksgiving and last Christmas, I basically didn't even, like, care what I ate. Because I was thinking I'm just going to get right back on afterwards. But not this year. Not this year. Just. Um. Like I already told Frank, I'm like this year at Thanksgiving and Christmas, I am not pigging out. I'm not. Like I am gonna eat small little portions. I am not pigging out. Not happening. Oh, the fall book club. Okay. So I think I told you guys this, but I'm on a um Halloween book club each season. They we have to have a book. We read a book each season. And it says Fall 2020 book pick. You voted. It was so close. Six votes. And the fall 2020 Halloween book is Watches Volume 1 by Scott Cinder and Jock. Okay. Grab yourself a copy of the book. Grab it. Grab it. The thrift store is a member fave. Also always on Amazon. So I have a credit to use on my um on my audible so i'm gonna download it on there today
Yay, I'm gonna add it on Audible. Got my nose, you guys. Sorry, guys. Oh, goodness, you guys. And then I got, um, oh, God, let me tell you guys my experience of New York City, okay, you guys? Oh, my God, 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 oh, my God. For one, I, my friend, he wanted to bring Aubrey to New York City, okay? He does, um, respite for me, so he brings her out sometimes, and, um, like, there's this place called Seven Hills, it's an organization, and since she's like considered special needs because she's autistic and everything, they give you money each year. So they either, they, they either give you a check for money for the year or they will pay the person hourly and then they get a check. So me and my friend, we talked about it and we chose to do the one check that they give me. And then I just give, hand him money, which I'm surprised they do that because how do they really trust people? Like... Parents could be, like, in a rut one month and, like, just dig into that money, which is crazy. Which don't, I've never done it, ever. Like, I even write down on the envelope the date and how much I give my friend every single time. <clears throat> I write it down. So I know what how much has been taken out and what, what it was used and the date and everything. So he wanted to bring her to New York City to see the lights. And she loves the Home Alone movies. So we went and saw... Trump Towers, we went and saw the Halloween, yeah, the Halloween, oh my god, we went and saw the hotel where, um, Kevin stayed, like, we drove by it, um, so we were at New York, and I think, like, I, myself, don't like New York City at all, just because, um, I don't like the mayor, I don't like the governor, I don't like how it's run, um, the people are treated like shit in that, that's, that city, and I, like, saw it for myself when I was there, like, what kind of city would want their, grounds to be filled with trash like um uh, me and my boyfriend we would walk we were walking around that night just the two of us walking around um and Aubrey stayed in the hotel with my friend and at the end of the night before the shops close up they just put their bags right on the road in the front of the road and then in the like by the morning time the trash people do come and pick him up but my point is that's how you get rats that's how you get like all these like nasty animals that's how you get bugs that's how you get everything all over the city and then you have the homeless people having to smell that all the time they have to lay near that like no no uh, -uh. like that is horrible like boston doesn't even do that like boston mass because i live in mass so boston is our city part of mass um, and they don't even do that. They don't just have you put your trash out on the curb and then they come and pick it up. Like, that's pathetic. That is pathetic. Like, why don't they just have, like, big trash buckets like we do and then they come by and gra grab your trash book on the side of the road every night? Like, it's pathetic. And then, like, oh my god, you guys. So, we, me and my boyfriend, we went to 7-Eleven before we went, headed back to the hotel. Oh my god. So, we... We wore these jerseys, and the guy was sitting at the door. There was this guy sitting at the door, and he opened the door for us, and he was comp complimenting on, on our jerseys and everything. And on our way out, after we were, like, chucking out, he came in and asked if we had any extra ca cash, and we both told him no. And then he, like, followed us outdoors, and he, like, asked us again, and we told him no. And then, oh, my God, you guys, he called us racist because we didn't give him any money. He's like, oh, I saw you guys have money. I'm like, but I'm sorry, we don't have money to spare. So he called us racist. And then he's like, oh, don't come back here or something like that. You're not welcome back here. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Oh, my goodness. People like that. Crazy. Like, so just because I'm a, I can't just hand out my cash to every homeless person, I'm racist. Whatever. <laughs> After that, I was like, I'm so glad we're leaving tomorrow morning. So glad. But it was like a two and a half, 
almost three hour ride home. And then, like I said, we stopped at at home where I got a couple Halloween stuff. And then, yeah. But that's what we did yesterday. And we came home. I made some chicken and I had some cauliflower rice for dinner. Um, Aubrey had rice and everything for dinner. And then I took, I put her to bed. I took my shower and then I went to bed. So that's what we did yesterday. But September 1st. I'm so excited. September 1st. Aubrey, it's September 1st today, Aubrey. What is it? September 1st. Today's Tuesday, September 1st. So, mommy's birthday month. My birthday is the 26th. And this is the month where it turns fall. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. But yeah, guys. So, I'm going to finish watching. Um, this lady is... She's hilarious. <laughs> she's just hilarious. But I'm going to finish my coffee, you guys. And I'm going to finish watching this. And I'll see you guys after. Hey guys, it's two o'clock now. Aubrey, I have your pants here for when you come out. Um, did you put them on? Yeah, here. Yeah. You want me to put them back on? Yep. Oh, hold on a minute, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I hope help her put her pants back on. Um, yeah. So we left here about what time was it? What time was it? I forget exactly what time it was, but left here with my mom and we went to go vote. And then, um, we, which we ended up to going to go vote, like I told you guys. Um, and then my mom dropped me off at my friend's house and I helped him move some stuff around in his, um, room where he keeps all his like bobbleheads and stuff that he sells and stuff. Um, and then we left from there and went to Price Shopper. Oh my God, you guys. Look what I found at Price Shopper. Um, oh, ooh, goodness. Pumpkin cheesecake Greek yogurt bars. I think these bars are like four points. They're either between, yeah, either, I think one of these bars is like four points for one bar. So these are going to last. It's a four pack. Um, and then I did pick up some more um, unsweetened almond milk. And then I did pick up some um, half decaf, half regular coffee because um, the other day, you guys, um, I had, we went to Cumbies on the way to New York. And I got a um, decaf iced coffee, and my hernia wasn't acting up. So I find that, like, I need, like, decaffeinated or at least half decaffeinated for my coffee so it doesn't start, like, acting up. So we went to the store, and then now we're home. I'm um, just going to relax for the rest of the day. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for dinner. Probably going to have, like, some eggs for dinner or something like that, some deviled eggs or something for dinner. But I'm wearing my Just the Mom Who Loves Michael and my Halloween leggings today because it's the first day of September. Huh, Aubrey? Yeah? And Aubrey was so good in the grocery store, right? Yeah, except I didn't get a cart. No, you don't need a cart this time. We didn't get, I didn't get her a cart because I wasn't getting anything. Like, I walked in there, wasn't going to be getting anything. But then I thought about that we needed the milk. I needed to get the coffee, and then I saw those bars, so I got those bars. And I just ended up putting them in my friend's cart, because he's the one who went shopping, not me. So, but I'm going to get something for lunch, you guys, and I'll see you guys after. Hey, guys, it's 6.11 right now. I spent, like, two hours on the phone talking to Frank. Oh, my goodness. Um, and then my dad came over for a little bit, and, oh, where the heck did I just go? Where the heck did I just go? Crap. Um, hold on a minute, guys. Where the heck did I just go? Uh, okay. But yeah, then my dad came over for a couple minutes. I made myself a wrap for dinner. So I had, like, two wraps today, you guys. I had like two wraps today. Um, I did three minutes. Um, so I had a wrap. I put a little bit of mayonnaise. Then I put lettuce, my romaine lettuce. Then I took four ounces of my blackened chicken strips and put it on top. A little bit of cheese and then 
a little, 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 little bit of bacon ranch. It was like one point worth of bacon ranch. And I wrapped it up and I had that for my dinner. And now you guys, I'm having the dessert that I bought today. Oh my goodness. I kept my points to have this for today. Even with this, I have one point left, but I'm not gonna have anything else tonight just because I've had enough today. Um, but I wanted to try this with you guys. So this is the pumpkin cheesecake bar. It looks so good. Hold on one minute, you guys, so I can get a picture real quick. Okay, guys, let's try this now. Mmm, oh my God. Oh my God. Mmm. So good. So good. Mm-hmm. This is definitely really good. I think I'm probably gonna get another box, another box, because I have a coupon for a dollar off this type of bars. So I think I'm gonna get another box to keep in my fridge. Oh, my, not my fridge, my freezer. Mmm. <laughs> You can taste like the um the cheesecake bottom part the crumble part inside if you guys can see right here right there's the crumble part in the middle so good oh my god you guys this is definitely worth it <laughs> definitely worth it definitely Definitely. So tonight, um, Tuesday night, I think, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I don't need to continue to put more clothes away upstairs. I want to film a video for you guys for Aubrey's school supplies. Um, and me and my mom, we were thinking that we should probably just do her, um, dang, that we should do her, um, hold on a minute, guys. Um, that we should do her school clothing. Like we can, I probably can get her school clothes, you guys. Like even after she starts school, because when she goes back to school, you guys, it's still gonna be hot, like somewhat warm out. So she's still gonna be wearing like short sleeve and shorts sometimes. So I think I can get away with um, not having to go right away for her for school clothes shopping. Um, I have the money put aside for it. It's just the fact that if I don't have to do it right away, then I won't do it right away. Um, so I want to film a video for you guys for her back to school supplies and then back to school clothes. Um, I was going to get some on Carter's, but um, cheaper at Walmart when I can get basically the same thing because all I'm going to need is basic plain colored long sleeve shirts because that's all she'll wear so i can get them cheaper at walmart than spending the price at carter's for the exact tape same type of thing so because i was going to get them you guys from carter's i was going to but i decided not to but so i'm going to finish this you guys and get aubrey her mac and cheese and i'll see you guys after Hey guys, it's actually midnight. So I put Aubrey to bed and I've just been like laying here. I've been watching um, TV and I was doing some stuff on my phone and I got like total out of like, weren't even paying attention what time it was. So it's like midnight right now. I still need to go downstairs and just quickly pick up the living room real quick. And then I'm gonna go to bed. But crazy you guys, I wasn't even paying attention to the time. So I'm gonna head downstairs real quick. Mm. Oh, sorry, guys. So I told you guys she listens to Tom Petty every night. <laughs> Is that silly, you guys? Okay, guys, back downstairs. 
The snail is very weird. Very weird snail. Okay, you guys, I think I'm gonna do some dishes first. I'm gonna do some dishes first, you guys. Okay. I've got all these cans that can go in here. This bag needs to come down. So tomorrow we have Aubrey's physical, which is kind of, oh, like now I'm not even looking forward to that, you guys, because she's got to get her flu shot. And last year, oh my God, you guys, last year it was like hell trying to get her flu shot last year. Like she was like, um, she was underneath the table they had to like drag her out it was like okay <laughs> and they didn't want me and my mom to like get involved in it so they took care of it but this year she's older so i'm hoping that she'll do better oh and every year you guys me and her have these matching dresses which I gotta make sure she's still gonna fit into it because we've been using it the past like three years. Um, we wear like to see it's not just because it's her her physical. Just for some reason, it always happens that we do it that day. Um, but we have like matching dresses that we usually wear for, and we wear it to her physical and everything. So we'll have to see if she'll actually wear it tomorrow though. Because she's a lot different now when it comes to clothes and everything. So, I don't even know if she's going to actually wear it. Okay. Yeah, so I don't even know if she'll actually even wear it, you guys. Which, she's so picky with clothes. So picky. It's crazy how picky she is. But... I'm so excited, you guys. It's September 1st. I officially have 26 more days to my birthday and 15 more days till Aubrey goes back to school. September 15th is her first day. So, I think I told you guys, but I already have her school supplies. I already have her school supplies. I'm thinking about trying to get some, um, tissues and I'm gonna try and find some like Clorox wipes and stuff like that to send in with her too. At least tissues. I know I'm, I'll be able to find tissues for sure. So I might send her in with some tissues along with her school supplies. It didn't say it on the school supplies but just in general I know that they'll need them. So But, ooh, the soap sucks, you guys. The soap. I'm almost done with it, luckily, because it sucks. Like, really bad. Ah, oh, this cup, you guys. Sometimes it gets, like, dirty in here. It's hard to clean. Yeah. So, trying to get this out of here, you guys. <laughs> so, oh my god, you guys. Is anybody watching Nikocado Avocado? Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Leave a comment below if you guys, act, if you guys do watch him. But his channel has been, like, so messed up lately. Like, all his channels. They've been like so messed up lately. When he's trying to per 
like say that Orlin's gone and now he's got a new boyfriend, but then his boyfriend won't take off his like mask that he this big mask thing that he's wearing. But everybody thinks it's still Orlin. Like everybody thinks that him and Orlin are still like living. Like don't get me wrong, they could they could be separated, but they um people still think it's him. You still think it's him. Which I don't know if it is. So. People are, everybody online is saying it, that it is. But until we know for sure, we're never going to know. Until Nick comes out and says, like, psych, it was him the whole time or something like that. But if any of you guys watch him, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about because it's crazy, completely crazy. My eyes itchy, you guys. <laughs> oh, and then I was watching um. What was it? Um, that show on TLC with the couple with the little girls, the Quints. I was watching that on TLC. So, dishes, and then I gotta go pick up the living room real quick, which doesn't take long, you guys, at all. Doesn't take long at all. So. Oh, and then like 27 more days, you guys, till my brother and his girlfriend have their baby. She's having the baby the day after my birthday. So, having the baby. Another girl. They got two girls already, so they're having another girl. We always like pick on my brother and, t and say that he can't make girls. <laughs> I mean, he can't make boys. Uh-huh. My goodness. And then my sister is having her baby in November. She's supposed to be having her baby November 13th. So we'll see about that. Oh, I should show you guys the uh, m m dispenser that Aubrey got when we were in New York. I'll have to show you in a minute when I'm done. I'm almost done here, you guys. And then I'll show you guys the little, well, it's not little. It's like a tall dispenser that Aubrey got when we were in New York. They, got, they have like an m m like place. It was crazy, the price though, you guys. She didn't really get to get much m ms because it would have cost me like a lot of money just to get like a bag full of M&M's. It was crazy, crazy. But hey, it's New York, right? <laughs> so I'm thinking about waiting. I wanna wait until Aubrey gets back to school and then I'm gonna officially decorate for fall and Halloween. Um, so maybe like the week she goes back, I'll take a day to do that, to decorate. Cause I really can't do it when she's home. She'll just be like getting into all of it and will be in the way the whole time. So I really cannot do it when she's home. I have to like take a day to do it when she's in school. Wash this one more thing, one last thing here. And then I'll show you guys real quick her um, M&M &M thing there that she got. Sometimes when you have wood, 
stuff. I can't get the smell out of it sometimes. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, let me show you guys real quick. So, I have it up here. Let me put you guys right here real quick. The usual spot, real quick. I have it all the way up here. So, this is her M&M dispenser. So, she got, maybe it was probably... Um, it's probably like up to here, you guys, because she had little tiny ones, like right there is a little tiny one and she had some big ones. So this is the dispenser she got when we were in New York. They had like a yellow one. They had a blue one. Um, so she chose the red one. So I actually keep it way up here, you guys. And I let her have like one or two a day, um, just so to not let her have too much of it. Um, and then I told her we can go to the dollar store, we can get some more M&Ms, we can refill it all the time. As long as she's good and everything, we can keep refilling it. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to um, end the vlog here, you guys. I'm just going to go in the living room and quickly just clean up the living room. And then I'm going to head upstairs and go to bed. So, I'll see you guys in the morning.